Good morning, friends. Here at Wisconsin Point. I got here this morning and I seen three big eagles out on the ice. They're still there. I got kind of close here. Just sitting there on the ice chunks. Beautiful. They look like they're juveniles. I don't see any white heads. So that's pretty cool. And here's the rest of the lake. Just about sunrise. I haven't been down here in a while. I've been having some vehicle issues, so I haven't been doing too much. Um, last week, Mom and I went hiking down in Amnacon Falls. That was awesome. I got married there on the Horton's Bowstring Bridge, October 2nd, 2010. really pretty. I always went there as a kid and we went swimming there and rode our bikes there and so it was a, a special place for me and I was glad to be married there. It was, I was honored. Looks like the eagles flew away now. So that was a really nice hike with my mom and Willie. Willie came with too and he loved it. He didn't want to leave. He was kind of mad we left so that was funny. And then last week sometime, oh here comes the sun. I went up friend with my I went up north with my friend Tyler. We did some egg and hunting. We did pretty good. Stopped in two harbors and had something to eat and then it was a good day. Super nice. And my sister had her fifth chemo treatment on Friday, this past Friday, and I let my mom's dog out, and my mom ended up, well, the chemo is like five to six hours long, so my mom ended up staying for a little bit, and then going and letting my sister's dogs out, so she was actually able to go do something and get out of there for a little bit, and my sister said they give her Benadryl before the treatment, so she gets tired and she sleeps, sleeps through most of it, so that's good. Um, she seems to be doing good. A little bit more nausea, but it, it's not a lot. And she, she's hanging in there. She's still doing cleaning her house and you know, n you know doing normal things mostly. You know, tired. She says more tired than normal, but um, yeah. Uh, Seems like tragedy isn't leaving us alone. My husband's mom was put in hospice this week, so it's been very tough. Still grieving the loss of my dad and worried about my sister and, and now my poor husband. And she's such a wonderful lady. It's just, it's so heartbreaking. Um, we went and seen her yesterday, and she seemed to be doing good. She's cracking a few jokes, and Drew brought her a fish sandwich, and so she, from McDonald's, she loves those. <laughs> so she scarfed that down. So we're just going to spend as much time with her as possible. You know, that's all you can do. Anyway, a little bit of positive news. I was selected to be have some of my work published in the North Starport magazine, the Duluth 
Port Authority, they put out a magazine called the North Star Port, and they did a question and answer interview with me, and um, published five of my pictures, and a picture of myself, so everybody could see what I look like, lucky them. So that was something kind of neat. Um, that was something neat that happened to me this week, and other than that, I really haven't been doing much, um, for me, my ambitions, ambition's been low, I am usually out all the time, I'm ready to go back to work, I just need some distraction, I, I, something I have to do, like, I know I don't have to go out and do things, so I've, I've been choosing not to, which really ain't me, but, um, I'm gonna get past it. I just, I think if I get back to work and have some distraction, it'll really help. And plus, I'm missing those dang old ships. Ask me in a couple months. <laughs> but yeah, I thought I'd come and update a little bit. I haven't been around to say anything. And so I just wanted to touch base if anyone's interested. And Hope y'all are doing really good. And that's about it. Get out there and enjoy some nature. I mean, look at this sunrise. So worth being cold for. You can go right back in your vehicle and warm up. It's not very long, but it's worth it. I hope y'all have a great week. Maybe we'll talk to you soon. Toodles.